Sorry guys, um, I want to show you the little uh, tractor build uh, a little bit closer. Uh, this is my cleaned up design on the base chassis. Um, of course I have to make the actual cover and you know the bars in the back and everything so it actually looks like one of the tractor pullers. But this is the, the working part. Um, I went ahead and cleaned up the design. Um, the videos that you've seen, I've been using this one. Uh, when I made this one, I just wanted to uh, give it a little compartment for the battery so it'll sit real low, as low as possible. And uh, I was going to put the ESC up here and some weights and whatnot. And I decided that this, you know, it, it really just doesn't look like um, the pullers. You know, they don't have all these holes and they don't show their chassis and everything. It's just a straight, you know, body as a tractor. <laughs> so I went ahead and did away with that and I made it all flat. Uh, battery, I still have it sitting way low, um, just because, you know, I wanted to have a little bit of a, you know, the ability to take it out and put another one and all that stuff. Um, everything, as you can see, it's uh, inside the chassis itself, and, uh, you know, everything's in the right position. The only thing sticking out, of course, is going to be the plug for the battery, again, because I want to be able to take it out and put it back in. I have the switch so I could turn on the ESC. I uh, have three mounting points for the shocks, but honestly, I think this is the best position for them uh, for this build. Of course, it has uh, articulation, which the actual <laughs> uh, tractors don't, but you know, what the heck, it's an XCX. Well, what do you expect? It's going to have articulation. Um, this one is uh, 745 grams right now. Uh, as you can tell, that's enough for these wheels to be able to pull the one-fifth scale um, Roven, um, Baja, whatever. Uh, and that was no issue. Uh, I still have to put the little brass cover on the back, which is going to give you a few more grams. And I'm debating whether I'm going to put the weights you know, here, which they're going to be covered, or if I'm actually going to put a tray in the front, like some of the tractor pullers do, uh, because that tray, I don't know that it's going to look too good, because we have a servo here, and that tray may have to stick out a little bit too much, or or it might just not be good for putting much weight in it, because, you know, I don't want it sticking out way, way out there. Um, I'm, still, I'm still debating. We'll see what we do with that. If, if anything, I made up, I may end up doing a case that covers the servo so you don't see the servo and you see just, you know, the weights. <laughs> and uh, then the body here, so it looks really cool. But um, let me see, come around. Everything's covered on the bottom. Uh, it's really, 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 really tight fit, you know, but everything does fit in there. So I guess my idea is, you know, I wanna, wanna be able to start something new um, we have a lot of guys that, you know, have their scale builds that look really amazing and they just look, you know, like a scale vehicle. They, they look like a real thing. I'm not good at that. I mean, you guys know from my videos, I, I'm not good at building those. I don't have the attention to detail that you guys have, you know, and you, your research look awesome. But uh, I just like to build stuff, you know, and I get done with this one and I'm going to tear it apart and build another one. And, you know, I just got done doing the Fat Girl. I posted a few videos of those. And like I said, I, I'm on this one now. And when I get done with this one, I'll build something different. So I, I don't have enough time to sit on a build to be able to make something as intricate as you guys make. It, it just looks so awesome. And uh, if I did, you know... I wouldn't be too happy because at the time that I'd be done, I would want to tear it apart because I'm not going to buy another SCX to build another vehicle. I, I This is my only SCX 24 and I use it for all my builds and I just take it apart and build something new. As you could already tell from the last video, my son really likes this one and he's been pulling everything in the house that I could tie it to. Um, nothing has broken on it as of yet. Uh, I guess with the weight that I have right now on it, it will start spinning the tires instead of actually breaking the gears. So it doesn't have enough traction, at least not on tile, to be able to break anything on it yet. Um, 
once I get my Metal Gears, then I'll be able to really, really push it. But as of right now, nothing has broken. And, you know, my son, he's, uh, he, he doesn't really care for gears. So he just guns it sometimes. And with that Rovan, that, that thing is super heavy. Uh, so you guys saw from the video, it's mostly all aluminum. So it's a good 20 pounds on that thing easily. And uh, it pulled it no problem. So... Like I said, I'll, I'll try and finish this up and hopefully a bunch of you guys will jump on and start building your own tractors and maybe we can start doing some, you know, pools and compare them between each other and just posting on them. And, you know, you guys, the skill builders, I know you're going to make a really, really amazing one. That's going to look better than mine, but I have the first one. So whatever. <laughs> Anyways, I don't know. That's where we're at. Um... I'm debating which one I want to build still because I want to copy from from one of the ones that are really famous out there but uh you know we'll see we'll see which one I pick um let me guy let me guys um let me know what you guys think uh 370 motor adapter plate stock ESC 350 milliamp hour battery stock servo uh millstone um hex and uh, overweights, you know, not in the front. I have the overweights in the back. Uh, I made an adapter here so I could hold on the BBs in there, inside of the wheel, and then I filled up the, uh, the tires with BBs. I still have some gives, you know, so it's got some grip. Same thing in the front, you know, they're not fully, fully, you know, filled in. But um, front ones weigh 55 grams, I believe, each. That's without the hex and everything, just a tire and, and wheel. Uh, that's a barrage tire and wheel. These are the 118 scale uh, boogie tires and wheel. These weigh 200 grams each. That's without the hex and uh, overweights. So that adds to it. Then we have the brass um, knuckles and uh, cover, HR, out racing. And uh, like I said, waiting on the rear cover to put on. Stock shocks. Um, these I haven't brought back to their original length, uh, but I really don't need to with this build. But as you can see, they go a little bit higher. This is that, um, that extended length that I did for the uh, Fat Girl Buggy. But uh, I didn't need to change it for this one because it's still, you know, I still wanted it to sit a little bit higher here so it's not, you know, tilted down so much when I put the body but anyways um give me a few days uh to design the body in the cage and uh put it together uh these right here these are the hinges where I'm gonna attach the um, the body to I'll use these long mil um, two millimeter I mean m2 bolts that go all the way through with the nut at the end and this will hold them together you know hold the body onto the chassis and wow that's that's where we're at anyway um let me know what you guys think uh of course i'm gonna make you know more stuff to go with it uh probably make a uh, brass uh links these are stock length uh links you know stock length and you know everything just scx links everything stock and uh i may make them out of brass but i'm gonna use the same length and uh yeah that's it I don't know. Thanks for watching. Uh, look forward to hearing from you guys. Let me know what you think. And, uh, thanks.